going to show you how to make this uh, skirt that it could also be done as a top okay so if you just saw the top part here for the shoulders it can be a top and I really like the feeling because it's like a boho kind of style a little bit saggy it's not it's not really tight to the body at all but if you also make it up like this and use it as a waistband here and this is a skirt that it looks it will look really nice underneath a bikini maybe to go to the pool to go to the beach uh, and now you can leave this sides uh, open or maybe you can join up to halfway or the whole way down I think it looks really nice also you can make the whole outfit so you can make the skirt and then you can make also the top what I like the most about this mesh is that it's irregular it's not the typical squares that you see I like the way it looks so messy and so I don't know all over the place I really like that Let's see the way it looks I think it looks really good maybe you need to do some blocking also I wanted to tell you that I'm gonna be selling this top on my Etsy shop so if you're interested you can go to the link that I'm gonna leave you down below I'm not gonna be making any other top so this is the only top is gonna to be available so it's gonna be sold as a top okay so if you're interested in buying that you can go ahead and look in the description box the yarn that i used for this project was a worst weight yarn it's called bamboo cotton from moda vera okay i used around three to four skins to make uh to make one piece you're also going to need a four millimeter crochet hook and I use this 2.5 millimeter crochet hook to do the top part only but this is I think it's optional you don't have to but if you want this is what I use obviously you're gonna need some scissors and one needle that a lot of people use blunt needles and I was one of those I was always using blunt needles and I really like this one I prefer this one to uh, wave all those ends. So I'm going to give you right now the dimensions of this top in case you're wondering. So here the width it's uh, 19 centimeters or if you want it in inches almost four inches. If you want to know the uh, how long this is let's see if it fits in the camera it's around 16 inches long and then here I have 9.5 nine and a half inches okay it's just to let you know so here I made 160 rows and uh, so I work 80 for the front panel and 80 stitches for the back panel one thing that you could do is for example if you're doing if you're doing this as a skirt I will recommend to reduce the amount of stitches here because for as you can see in the video I don't know it looks it's a little bit too wide for me so if I wanted to for the top it's perfect size I don't I'm not complaining on that at all but if I was about to make this same top but as a skirt I would uh, definitely go for less amount of stitches here but now I'm gonna leave you with a tutorial and I hope you like it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up leave any comments in case you have anything or questions or whatever you want to say so I hope you like this video and see you soon we're gonna start with the ribbon okay we're gonna make a slip knot and we're gonna change 20 that's what I did okay if you want your ribbon to to know to be uh, bigger like wider or shorter then you need to add or make less chains so we're gonna make I'm gonna make 20 this is three okay these are the 20 chains now we're gonna work on that chain so we're gonna here where my nail is okay that's where we're gonna insert the hook 
we're going to grab that chain and we're going to do a single crochet there we're going to continue exact the same way in each chain we're going to make a single crochet make sure your chain doesn't twist Okay, this is going to look like and I'll meet you when I'm here. Okay, so here we are at the last single crochet of the first row. Okay, so now to continue on the second row we need to change one and turn. And now we're going to make sure you take the back loop so instead of working as usual with the through the two loops, we're only going to take the back loop. So here, back loop, one second, here, back loop, single crochet. Next one is this one. Okay, and you're going to continue like this until you reach the other end and always remember that because we change or I started with 20 chains the total of single crochets I am always going to have in the ribbon is going to be 19 so always make sure or every so often make sure you have the right number of single crochets Otherwise, the width of the ribbon is not going to be even and they're not going to be like a straight edges, edges. Okay, so here we are. Let's just spin a couple more. Here, we're at the last one. Make sure you make that last one or last single crochet because it sometimes it's a little bit hidden. So make sure you make that. So same as we did before, we're going to change one, we're going to turn, and we're going to work in that stitch, that stitch that you see here, but always working in the back loop. So that's what you're going to be doing all the time. You're going to be single crochets after you do the chain, and you do your initial row with single crochets. Then after that, you're going to make single crochet, always taking that back loop, chain one, turn, single crochets taking the back loop chain one turn and that's pretty much it and it happened to me that I was doing the ribbon out when I was just like maybe 20 rows away um, I noticed that the ribbon was not looking nice on the edges it's because I skip one stitch and then four to five rows later I skip another one and I remember I was watching television and I was not paying too much attention and oh I have to frog again see what I'm saying here at the last one is a little bit hidden so remember to have a look closer and be careful not to miss it so here it is okay and that's that's what it is so you need to, you need to continue doing like this if you're gonna make it the same uh, length as me you need to make 160 rows of single crochets um this just pretty much all the way all the time the same chain one single crochets back loop chain one single crochets on the back loop and so after after you finish your base with the length that you want now you need to count I would recommend to count facing this way up okay instead of this one because you may miss this single crochet this row single crochets on the top so I prefer to count two by two count as two four six eight ten okay so the way I did this I just wanted to show you I had it here I did it several times I did it two or three times make sure you have the right number that you want so I'm gonna count like this bump that you see here is made out of two rows of single crochet so this is one row that comes like up and then this one that comes down so this is two rows and then another one here is the one that goes up and then this one that is a little bit hidden but it's here and it's this the fourth round so the way I count this was 
the, this way. Two, four, six, eight, ten. When I reach to ten, I mark here ten. And then two, four, six, eight, ten. This one. And I came here. Okay, so I have finished my my base okay so making sure you're not twisting anything i finish here i'm gonna chain one and now i'm gonna join the two pieces together okay so the way we're gonna do this so i have on top where i finished and i'm gonna take here and i'm gonna insert the hook in the back loop of the last one that I made here, the last single crochet, and I'm gonna insert the hook in the first chain that we made at the very beginning, and now we do a slip stitch. Okay, we're gonna continue. So, taking the back loop on this side. We're going to take the second chain on the other. Sometimes it could be like a little bit heat in there. Okay, so there. And we're going to slip stitch. We're going to continue like this all the way until the end. The back loop only. And we're gonna take the, that third chain there and we're gonna do that slip stitch okay so when I'm done I'm gonna meet you here okay so I just finished uh, joining the two pieces now I'm going to change one and I'm going to make a single crochet in each uh, row of single crochets that I made before so this one there was going to be one that is always very visible which is this one for example chain first change and here this is the row that is a little bit hidden remember to make another single crochet there I'm gonna put a stitch mark it here just to make sure I know which one was my first stitch and we're going to continue like this all the way down so remember this is one row and this is another row so one single crochet per row one and then another one here two here this one okay so I meet you when I'm here okay so now I'm gonna finish um, I did all the single crochets around. I'm gonna finish this round and I'm going to make a um, slip stitch with that first stitch that we made. And we're gonna start doing the pattern. If it wouldn't be a bad idea to double check the amount of stitches that you have and see if everything is correct, okay? So I have done a lot more rows now for the front panel and it's looking like this. I really like it, but, but I just run out of yarn I run here. I couldn't even finish this row, so I left it like this. And I'm going to start doing now the, the back part. that I already made the first row. Okay, so here. Here and I made already so I add new yarn so so here is where we finish our first row from the front panel so you add yarn in the following stitch to make the back part so see my tail here so this is where I add yarn 
following stitch just after you finish your front panel you, I did all this okay but there are two things that I want to tell you that I think they could be very helpful is when you do the three chains to start a new round right so it's sometimes it's very helpful to put a stitch mark in that top chain because you're gonna have to make a stitch there later on okay so this is what I was saying to you about putting a stitch mark at the top of that chain because if it wasn't for this it could be a little bit confusing where do you have to make that final uh, double crochet but when having this is so it's so easy to to recognize the stitch so I'm just gonna do this is actually the final stitch of the top so there you go it's done so I'm gonna cut yarn well first of all make sure you have you are happy with the length of your um, top or skirt so I have my front panel my back panels okay and the way I am counting the count the rows make sure I have the same amount on each side it's by going on the big holes if you start here for example one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and this one is sixteen so make sure you count both sides and you have the same amount do not just lie one uh, side on top of the other and say oh yeah it's it, it's the same no make sure you count them okay so now I'm gonna show you how to finish the edges so I'm gonna do this all in one continuous uh, row or like uh, thread so I attach yarn here I mean, did single crochets all the way here and then when I got to the top part I wanted to do slip stitches okay so I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do this just right now on the other side and I'm gonna show you but these are slip stitches all the way until here when I just make another single crochet up to here and this is the this is where I am right now so I am going to do now the other side and this is what I'm gonna do right now with you in camera so you can see what I did I finish the let's say the front panel here and this is the starting point of the back panel so I am going to make maybe one single crochet here at the base and then I'm gonna start doing single crochets around the double crochets at the edge here you have to kind of like see if you need to make two or make more most of the cases I was just making two okay so here and I make another two Here it looks like I need another one, so I'm gonna make three. So that's pretty much the way I was doing it. There was there's no like a um, setup rule or anything. It's just whatever seems right. That's what I'll do, or that's what I'm doing. So see here, you see it. So it's good because you make it all in one continuous uh, row. Let's say. For example here I'm gonna make one stitch on this one I'm not I don't have any rule for this just as long as the piece is lying flat that's the most important thing it's just for reference two or three stitches on the side and that's all so I'm gonna continue all the way here then I meet you there Okay, so I just got here. This was the, the double crochet to start that row. So now I'm going to change to another hook. I'm just using this smaller hook, the 2.5 hook, to make the, um, the slip stitch here. I think this is optional. I don't think this is really needed. And if you don't want to do it, it's okay. So just make sure you pull out that loop quite a bit so 
you don't end up having like a too tight top row because the slip stitch makes things more tight and like, like smaller so to avoid this just just remember to pull that and the way I'm doing this is for example in this case I have that big space there okay so I just use that gap there but in some cases that gap is not so visible so I just go through so just through the stitch in the middle that's okay as well it doesn't matter so here for example and the next one I'm just gonna go through the middle just remember to pull that a little bit up so we don't make this part like smaller okay so I just finished doing the top part okay and now just continue the exact same way on the other side with the crochet hook that you were working with at the very beginning So I'll meet you when I'm here. Okay, so we're about to finish here. So I'm gonna make another um, single crochet. And let's finish here at the base with a slip stitch. And just cut your yarn. And that's all. So now just need to wave those ends so this is this is where you need to decide if you're making the skirt and you want to leave it open on the sides well this will be it so you will have it ready now your waistband and then here the skirt if you want to leave it open now if you want to uh, close the skirt maybe not all the way but maybe only up to here or the whole way down now you will need to sew this by putting the two by, by taking one loop of one side one loop to the other and way with a needle around here and same on the other side okay so now I have going to show you how I saw this bar so I tried it on and I'm and I tried to see what was the exact point where I want this to be together. I only going to do this here, all these two pieces together. So I'm not gonna uh, join from here to here, but it's another option that you can do if you want. So I did the same here, just with a sewing needle, uh, with a needle and the thread. I just went several times here. That's all, nothing uh, special. I didn't sew this side either and that's pretty much already the top done and yes okay and this is it for the tutorial I hope you like it I hope you like the video and if you do please subscribe please like the video and also share with your friends and see you in the next video bye